Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to share with you everything that you need to do in your first 30 days of being a real estate agent to set yourself up for a career of success and to get yourself started on the right foot. I know that starting your real estate career is basically being a deer in headlights in the beginning. There's a lot of learning, there's a huge learning curve and you're starting a business. So there are so many unknowns. So these are my best words of advice to get started. And this is exactly what I did in my first 30 days and it definitely helped me. So without further ado, let's head on into it. So step number one is you need to have a plan, right? You need to sit down and set your goals for that year. Now, again, it's great to have good and really strong goals, but don't get too far ahead of yourself. You know, don't sit down and say, all right, I'm gonna make $2 million this year in your first year. Just not realistic, I'm not saying it's impossible. I haven't heard of it happening, but I'm just saying have strong goals, but make sure that they're, they are obtainable. Um, so whether it's a set number of transactions you wanna do, whether it's a set volume, if there's a certain commission you wanna make, make that decision um, and then break it down, right? For example, if you want to do five deals in your first year, how many contacts do you need to make in order to obtain each one of those deals? And if you're gonna do that, who and where and when are you getting those deals? So you have to have a plan, a business plan. You are running a business. You are now a businessman or woman you need to have a, a set plan of exactly what you want to accomplish. This is what's going to help you move forward with a vision and also allow you to get started off on the right foot because you know what direction you're wanting to go. The second most important thing is branding. All right, you're no longer you, all right? You're now you who is a real estate agent. There is no such thing as a secret agent in real estate. The only way for you to be successful is for people to know who you are and to associate your name with being a real estate agent. So you need to start rebranding yourself. Everyone that you know or everyone that knows of you, they need to know that you're now doing business because those people are going to be your stepping stone in terms of building clientele. So um, in the first 30 days, you want to start with all of your branding, your website, whether it's through your company or building one from scratch. I personally built my website through Wix. I will put up um, a little video of what my website looks like. Okay, so you wanna do your website, order business cards, do social media, send out newsletters, Start branding yourself as a real estate agent. Whole world needs to know, all right? Don't be shy. Don't be, oh, like, I don't wanna bother anyone. You know, there's a subtle way of making an impact. Um, but again, you can't, you can't hide behind walls in this career. People need to know what you do for a living because those people are the ones that could potentially be someone who buys a house from you or sells. So the next step is basically building your knowledge, getting over that learning curve. Now, again, I'm, I'm, you know, well into this business now and I'm still learning every single day, but there is a huge curve in the beginning that you need to get over. Um, you know, you need to learn about so many different things, whether it's about specifically in regards to the California real estate transaction, it's how to handle clients, how to run an open house, how to do so many things, right? And so it is a matter of you building your knowledge and also building your confidence. Confidence is key. And I personally feel that the more that you know, the more confident that you will be. Even if you don't know the answer, you know how to respond in a situation that says, I'm still an expert, but I need to take a moment to verify something in order to give you the correct answer. So you are building knowledge for yourself. And I think a great way to do that is creating video content. In the beginning of my career, I would make 
short videos on topics that I personally did not know the answer to. I would sit down, learn that information, and then do a video on it. And all of a sudden, I am now an expert on that topic. Um, but you know, typically, whatever brokerage that you're with, they offer classes, training, how to write an RPA, how to handle inspections, how to do, um, you know, how to overcome a difficult client when it comes to commission. There are so many topics and so many different things that you can start learning and building your knowledge on, and that is your power. That is any person's power in real estate as an agent is knowledge. Knowledge is what sets you apart from everyone else. If you have an answer or know how to get an answer for someone, that is what makes you powerful against everybody else. Next thing to do is start hosting open houses. This is a great way to get your face out there, to get your name out there, to build relationships with pre-existing agents in your office who have these listings. And really just great experience for you to start learning how to talk to people when they come in through the door to see an open house. A lot of them are probably going to waste your time and a lot of them um, are often just browsing, but you never know who you're going to meet and who might actually end up buying something from you. So this is really great time and experience and say even if nobody comes through that door, at least you have three hours to sit there and, and do something productive um, for your upcoming week. Next thing to do is reach out to your sphere of influence. Same thing with branding um, in terms of everybody needs to know that you are a real estate agent. But a lot of times when you're brand new in this business, of course, you're not meeting tons of strangers who want to buy or sell a house. So a lot of your uh, first experiences typically will come from your sphere of influence whether it's your family, close friends, you know, they may know someone or who knows someone who wants to buy or sell real estate. So reach out to everyone, check in on them. You don't have to say, hey, I'm a real estate agent. Do you want to buy or sell a house? Don't do that. Like that it's salesy, it's disingenuine. Call to genuinely check in on people, ask them questions about their life. Be like, hey, I actually just started in real estate. You know, if you know of anyone, let me know. Don't make it about you, make it about them. It will eventually come back in time. Now, I know that not everyone has a sphere of influence. Um, I've been there. When I started in this business, I was really young. I was not from Los Angeles. I did not have close family or connections or friends who are old enough to be purchasing properties. So in that situation, you need to sit down and establish where are you going to get business from? There are so many different ways to do it. Open houses, networking events, um, door knocking, cold calling for sale by owners, expired listings. You could pay for Zillow leads. You could pay for other companies to give you leads. There are a ton of different ways to look for new clientele. Don't expect a new client in the first week of coming into real estate. It takes time. It takes time to build a presence, to build your name, to build respect, to build knowledge, to build confidence. So give yourself time to allow yourself to prepare so that when you do receive that first opportunity, you know how to land it and do well. And always remember that you do have people along the way to help you, whether it's the manager in your office, other agents in the office who are willing to give you a word of advice, Never feel like that you are alone. Um, you know, there's always someone that you can reach out to for support. So my last word of advice is to don't let yourself get stuck in a rut of constantly preparing. Oh, I need to do this and this and this in order to be able to finally go out there and get that client. Um, you know, there is sometimes a mindset where you feel like you constantly need to prepare in order to feel confident, in order to do something and to actually put yourself out there. Um, and there will come a point in time where there's really not much more preparing you can do other than just throwing yourself out there and taking a leap of faith and messing up a ton of times 
um, but it's part of the learning experience. So don't get stuck in that rut of constantly preparing. Um, you know, of course, take the time to build your knowledge and build your confidence and build your brand. But there will be a point where you need to just throw yourself out there, get it over with and start experiencing real life of being in this business. And eventually it will pay off for you. And eventually you'll get that first client and hopefully close a deal with them and continue to do more. So I hope that you guys enjoy this video. This is everything that I did in my first 30 days. And I know a lot of other agents have done as well. And it's really great advice. If you guys have any more questions, comment down below. I'll be happy to answer any questions. And I hope you guys have an amazing day and I will see you next time in my next video.